Hello everybody. Today here at Hills Mill Homestead, I'm going to start sawing this golly whopper walnut log, 12 foot 6 length, about 39 inches across the end of it. We're going to see if we can find some pretty lumber. And as you can see, I'm using my LT40 Super Wood Miser. Now it's a little bit older, it's not a new one. But when you take care of something, you can use it for a, an extended life. You just gotta have to, you have to take care of it. So as you can see, this is a big log. It has a natural split down the center and it has one off to the side making a T. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna use this section to make live edge slabs. And then I'm gonna turn the rest of this into some pretty good lumber, I'm hoping. So stay tuned. I appreciate you watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, um, I'm gonna have more videos out soon. Subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and we'll go from there. So we're gonna get started and see what we can find inside of this log. You never know, mother nature will surprise you. <laughs> Well, just a little tip. Whenever you're using your blades, you want to try to get as much footage out of it as you can. And you don't want to change that blade until you know that it's dull. And so I always try to knock the bark off of a log that first cut before I change a blade, just in case it has metal or a nail. But in this case, this is walnut. I'm going to have to put on a new blade. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, this is Mickey, back with Hills Mill Homestead, back for another video. Let me just say that uh, this is new to me, and my internet service is very slow, and so I've got some issues I have to work out about making some videos and trying to get them uploaded. But if you'll hang with me, I believe you're going to enjoy some of the things I'm going to share with you. We're going to we're going to talk about sawing. We're going to talk about homesteading. I have some tips that may be helpful. Uh, I like to garden. Uh, when the weather breaks, we're going to we're going to see how I can garden. Let's just say that I can. I'll put some pictures later on in another video to to let you know that I do know a little bit about gardening. Not like Mr. Danny. But I'm learning, and I, and I like to learn about it, and I know you do too, or you wouldn't be watching the channel. But anyway, family traditions, old school, old ways. I've got a history wall out here on the bar, and I'll, I'll, we'll talk about it later on. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you like what you see, and if you do, subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and share. Um, in this video, Mr. Danny at Deep South Homestead when I was making my last delivery, he was kind enough to be a guest for a little segment that's going to be added into this video. So I hope you enjoy that. We're talking about sawing a log down and looking at the growth rings and how to read the history of a stump. But I hope you'll enjoy that. I want to show you what I've got so far. I'm going to have to break this log, this walnut log, this massive walnut log. I'm going to break this into two videos because it'll just be so long. But it measures out, it should be, I'm hoping that I'm going to wind up with about 500 board feet, maybe a little bit more. We'll see how that works, but I want to show you what I've got so far. So I'm just now getting the log down to a, what I call a cant, and it's about 25 inch by 22 inch at the moment. So I wasn't able to get any live edge lumber like I was anticipating just simply because the log wouldn't let me do it. Now I'm maxed out my wood miser. It has a 24 inch width and at no point could I turn this thing and make it work for live edge. But I sure believe that it's gonna have some nice lumber. So far, so good. I will say that. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to have the rest of it in the next video. And I hope that uh, it looks as good all the way as it does now. Let me get this set back up. Hopefully I'll be in the shot. But I appreciate you watching the channel. Stay tuned for more. And as I said, I appreciate all the viewers, all your comments. Keep those comments coming. They were great. And... Just if you, if you enjoy what you're going to see, I'm going to try to, we're going to all learn. Let me just say that. Everybody, you know, you're never too old to learn something, and we want to try to pass this on one day. Somebody, it'll be helpful for somebody else. So thank you, and stay tuned for the next video. Guys, I'm back here again at Deep South Homestead. I brought another load of lumber. Yes. From Mr. Danny's barn, and I'm, uh, just really happy to be here, happy to, to have conversation with you and Miss Wanda. I really enjoy the visits and all the knowledge that you have and the things that we talk about and yeah. we share and you share on your channel. Mm -hmm. And now I've got a channel that I'm gonna to try to put some videos for. Yeah. And I really appreciate that uh, you're doing, you're my first interview. Oh, okay. So let me ask you a really hard question, Mr. Okay. Gary. Now this is gonna separate the men from the boys. Okay. Because you either know or, or you you're, don't not know. Gonna, you're not going to sling at this yeah, one. Yeah, you can't. You, okay, I'm pretty sure. And this kind of makes me a little bit nervous because knowing his wisdom is going to, okay. It's a trick question. It's a trick question, okay. But uh, we were talking about the grain in our lumber. Yeah. And you know as a logger with all your experience. Yeah. When you cut that tree down and you look at that stump, there is a history to that stump if you know how to read it. This is true. This is true. Uh, when you look at a stump, when you cut a tree down, uh, you'll see the grains in it. 
Now, your white grains are your summer growth. Your dark grains will be your wintertime growth. Some of them will be real wide. Some of them will be thick, uh, thin. Uh, some of them will be thin on one side and thick on the other side. Yeah, you know I mean, so there's a lot of history that tree can tell you. It can tell you from the time it was planted, or naturally, or however it's done, all the way till you harvest it. It can tell you what every year was like whether as that it tree. Was a drought. Whether it was a whether drought. Whether it was a good year. Or whether it was a good year. Whether, whether it was a, a bad storm. That's right. And it, and even if it's been logged in that area. Yeah, if it's been no, clear cut around it. Yeah, because if you got a bunch of tiny grains, it's all tight together. That tree was more than likely being engulfed by a lot of other timber around it if it's if it's consistent for That's several right. years. That's right. But if you've got all of a sudden, if you've got wide grains and then there's like one grain that's real narrow and tiny and then the rest of them are wide after that, it meant you had a drought that year. That's right. That's right. And then if you're looking at that tree and on the, the rings on one side of it, you got a whole bunch of them that's real tight. And the same amount of years that those are tight, you look on the other side of the heart and they're wide on that side. That tree got stretched during a storm. That's called compression wood. I call it stress when stress I saw wood. it. Yeah, because when you're cutting it with a mill <laughs> or with a chainsaw, as, to, yeah. as a matter of fact, when you're cutting it with a chainsaw, it'll actually pop and break on you. I can. You take a, a log and you can't really see it, but it has a lot to do with whether that, that tree is growing straight. Yes. Or if it's on a hillside. Or if it's on a hillside leaning out. It'll been, have stress in that lumber. Yes. And you'll be sawing that log and that blade gets to the end of it and it'll do it. Yeah, just like a shark. Shark like pop it'll up just like a, pop it. Yep. And you're like, oh no, I, <laughs> I've got to fix this. But yep. That's that's just one of the things that, you know, you're looking, you're always you're always studying that tree. You're yes. always studying that log. Yeah, when you go to sawmill that log, you look at the end of it. The end of that log will tell you the same history that that log will tell you. Absolutely. And it determines... How you're going to cut that wood. It determines your final product. Yes. Of how you're going to read that log and how you're going to determine. And in my case, as a woodworker sawmill, mm -hmm. I'm looking for character. Yes. I'm not just looking to run straight through grain. Oh, yeah, best yeah. Horse in. So I'm trying to read that log. And that's something that I mentioned earlier on YouTube. You know, you can learn how to saw on YouTube. There's lots yeah. of great videos out there. You can saw wood. Right. <laughs> but for what I do... It's a learning process. Yes. It, it takes time. It's it's like trying to teach somebody how to paint and yep. by explaining it to them. Yes. I don't think you can do that. No. No, no you can't do that. <laughs> but I, I sure appreciate your my first interview. Okay. And I sure appreciate you and Miss Wanda. I hope I and got the stump thing right, though. I mean, You are was, absolutely right. Okay. Absolutely. I, I thought I was pretty it's, accurate. It's amazing it. how you can just read that grain and yep. you could tell when it was a drought, when there was a good year of plenty of rain, or when... Whenever it was opened up around it, more sunshine, it grew yep, faster. Grew faster, yeah. It's amazing. And it fed off the roots of the stumps of the other dead timber, and it grew Absolutely. faster. I mean, a lot, a lot of history can be in a stump. Permaculture. So. Yeah. Permaculture. Yeah. So it's, it's exciting to be your first interview on your channel. Well, I sure appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate you very much. And I hope that uh, you'll like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I hope to put out some more videos. And maybe when I come back on the next load, I might... Get you for another minute or two. Uh, that'd, that'd be great, too. We'll talk about something else. Yeah, we'll find <laughs> something to talk about, surely. Okay. <laughs>